Hi, in this video I want to explain um, how sex determined disorders such as color blindness is inherited. And for the beginning I have a test. Uh, you can test yourself if you would be able to see um, numbers and letters in these four boxes on the left. And uh, for example, in this box if you don't see number 58 or if you don't see in this box number 18 or if you don't see E in this box or 17 in this box um, my congratulations you're colorblind uh, usually it doesn't mean that people who are colorblind see everything in white and black color but they usually cannot uh, tell the difference between green and red color they see these both colors like one color and um, the rest colors they usually see normally so it's not as I said totally color blind it's just uh, usually in most of the cases just green and red so, and today's question would be, um, if a woman with a normal color vision whose father was colorblind mates with men with a normal color vision, uh, and question A, what do you expect to see among the offspring? And you may stop your video here and try to answer this question and the next question on your own and then compare your answer with my explanation and here is my explanation um, um, woman has two X chromosomes and um, as we said uh, the woman's um, uh, father Female father um, had a color was colorblind, and what does it mean? Uh, um, it means that um, men have uh, two chromosomes, that is Y chromosome and um, X chromosome, and when he mates with female, uh, for example. Let me change the color here. Uh, for example, um, if he mates with a woman who is a, a normal for the color blindness, um, they may have um, children of two gender, whether male or female, and um, colorblind father uh, if it is going to be female only can uh, donate X chromosome that contains a gene um, that um, when expressed uh, means uh, color blindness but mother uh, can donate any of these two chromosomes and both of these chromosomes are normal and they have normal gene and that means that that normal gene would uh, make normal protein and um, such a female uh, wouldn't be color blind so color blindness in most of the cases you can find only in males because in order to um, find a woman who is colorblind she must have uh, her father colorblind and at least heterozygous for this straight mother and this is a very rare event so in most of the cases um, we can find only um, uh, male who is colorblind and so Returning to our uh, first question, uh, if a uh, female had a uh, 
colorblind father. She must have uh, one X chromosome from that, uh, from her father, that has um, a defective uh, gene, and um, she mates with um, normal uh, male. That is X Y. And what is the progeny would be? Uh, we have to make a Punnett square, and on this side would be a male, and this side would be female, and we have normal male, and heterozygous for this colorblindness female. And here is our Punnett square. So we have four different possibilities. Uh, for example, in this first box, uh, female donate her um, um, chromosome that have uh, defective gene and uh, father donates a normal chromosome and in second box female donates defective gene, defective chromosome and uh, father donates Y chromosome and um, in this box we have two normal X chromosomes and here also normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. So uh, this is progeny and uh, what we can tell that 50% of the children one female and one male would be normal. They, their vision would be normal they wouldn't be colorblind and one female would be a carrier, so uh, this female would see normally because uh, this female has uh, one normal chromosome um, and protein that would be produced enough so would be enough um, so this female um, vision would be normal but uh, in one male out of um, four different possibilities. One male would have X chromosome from uh, his uh, mother and one Y chromosome from his father. And um, unlike his sister that has one normal X chromosome with a gene that would be able to compensate um, defective gene, in this case uh, male don't have uh, two X chromosomes, only one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So this male would be, wouldn't be able to see colors normally. And um, now the second question, what would you expect if it was a normal man father who was colorblind? And um, in order to answer this question, we don't even have to build a Punnett square. It's just a um, normal uh, explanation. Uh, if father was uh, colorblind and uh, he was a male, so uh, he has uh, X and Y chromosome and um, he had a child and his child was male and that means that he only could donate Y chromosome to his child and uh, uh, his wife could donate uh, any of these X chromosomes so um, this would be uh, XY male and if uh, his father donate, uh, say, this defective X chromosome, 
this wouldn't be email this would be xx x from father and another x um, any of this x's from mother and this means that they would have daughter not the son and as long as we know that uh, um, this uh, parent uh, um, father had uh, a son this automatically means that this son doesn't have this disorder and we don't have to build the Punnett square because normal uh, male and normal normal female all of the offspring also would be normal and they wouldn't have this uh, disorder and this is all for today uh, please thumbs up if you like my video and subscribe for new videos every week thank you for your attention goodbye